Welcome back to Tech New Tips, where we explore the most fascinating machines and technologies from around the world. Today, we're taking you deep underground to check out an incredible machine working 500 meters below the surface. Let's dive right in. At first glance, this massive excavator working 500 meters underground seems ordinary, but there's something unique about it. You won't easily find its cockpit. Why? because it's designed between the front and rear wheels, tucked in the middle. But won't this obstruct the operator's view? Actually, there's no other option. This machine's main job is to extract potash, a valuable mineral found between two layers of rock in the Earth's crust, with only about three meters of working space. Traditional excavators simply can't fit in such a tight environment. That's why the cockpit had to be positioned to the side, though it does create visibility challenges for the operator. To overcome this, the excavator is equipped with cameras surrounding the vehicle, transmitting real-time footage to screens inside the cockpit. This system helps guide the driver in this challenging underground terrain. To get this 10-meter-long beast into the mine, the excavator must first be disassembled at the surface. The parts are then sent down by elevator and reassembled underground. Once the blasting is complete, the excavator navigates through rugged tunnels to the site, ready to collect potash. With a shovel 1.8 meters tall and 3 meters long, it can scoop up over a thousand pounds of raw material at a time. It then reverses through the tunnel, transporting the mined material to a conveyor belt that sends it back up to the surface. Working in these harsh, confined environments requires not only exceptional driving skills, but also mental fortitude. Could you handle it if offered a lucrative salary? Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive into underground mining fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing content like this. Let us know in the comments. Would you take on the challenge of operating one of these machines?